It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Look at that smug look on his face. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Dave Cosby manning the track phone hotline. There's Willie Griswold. One check. Peace. There's Big Daddy, Tom Griswold. This has been Chick McGee speaking. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Willie in semi timeout. There was an incident yesterday. Yep. Are we going to talk about it every break? Well, 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 let, 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 let me explain. That's this. what we do. Yeah. Uh, to oh. Jessica, uh, you see this over here on, the, on this board in front of me, this electronic thing, where it says dump. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is the uh, the dump button, which uh, dumps the signal. Uh, and uh, yeah, yesterday, jump. when yeah. uh, there was a, a, <laughs> a, a just a, the, one of the big ones, one of the big curse words flew out of Willie's mouth. <laughs> I went over there, and there I'd had all these papers laid out, and I I had to take my hand and throw all the papers away, <laughs> diving for the button. But I apparently hit it in time. Oh, I wish I could have seen you. So the chaos. Fun. It was great. It was Willie really... giving zero Fs about you know FCC. Uh... No, I, no, no, he really gave one. Yeah. Yeah. He gave one. F. <laughs> <laughs> it, it rivaled Mr. Godwin and beat. Yeah. Himself up. That yeah, was, uh, I did it. When Godwin did it, when oh, he was playing man. the guitar and he messed up, and then he's, that was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Because <laughs> yeah. well, that was an honest <laughs> reaction. I was quoting a song. By the way, I will never quote a song on this show ever again. <laughs> well, see, I, that song has. I mean, the, you, you were concerned about the B and the N. Yes, there's other, it's, a rap song. it's a rap right. song. I don't want to worry about, yeah, there's a lot of things I can't say in that song. I messed up. Yeah, okay, well, so I'm, you're, you're <laughs> well, forgiven. I'm, we've all been there. It was um, awesome. Yeah. And for those that many, have, many times. For, the, for those that have the VIP service, <laughs> our most sincere apologies. <laughs> You're getting it. You're getting it live, live. Uh, now we open up the show with a piece um, uh, right there on the edge. It's about the uh, the sequel to the movie It, but this time it's a lady. And as I was explaining, Jessica, historically, I think in cinema there's there's usually a female version of many of the monsters that are out there. There was the Bride of Frankenstein. There was the uh, Mrs. Werewolf. <laughs> um, I think the scary... Mrs. Mrs. <laughs> she, was, she was the most polite lady at the PTA. Hi, how are you? Would you like some cookers? <laughs> they did driving Mrs. Werewolf. It was fun. The, most, the scariest of them all, of course, was the ex-wife of Frankenstein. Oh, oh man. man. That yeah. was... Yikes. <laughs> 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 ah. So uh, we, we'll continue. We'll get a couple of our Halloween treats. And I, I've got uh, the uh, another stack of a trucker request. We'll get one coming up in just a few minutes uh, from Mr. Obvious, but first in sports. Uh, Major League Baseball playoffs. Houston Astros have opened the uh, ALDS with a 6-1 win over the Chicago White Sox. Lance McCullers allowed just four hits, no walks over six to two-thirds. Jordan Alvarez and RBI double in the Carson McCullers. Carson McCullers. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> we continue to narrow cast. Hey! And uh, from St. Pete last night, Randy Arozarena and Nelson Cruz hit solo home runs as the Tampa, Ray, ba uh, Tampa Bay Rays blank the Red Sox 5 nothing game one of the American League Divisional Series. And we have Mr. Arozarena. He also stole home during the game, and here he has some comments after after the game. Sí, gracias a Dios, llevo la segunda oh, temporada mm -hmm. consecutiva aquí yeah. con, uh -oh. con la organización. Oh, de... sure, hang on, sure, hang yeah, on, yeah. hang on. Fortunately... I speak fluent Spanish. Oh, so uh, here, here go we go. Ahead. Ahead. Uh, my teammates uh, are very excited. Uh, I too am uh, excited por lo, over a lo que large el white cow on ahora. second base. Nada, That's uh, no, that uh, is a uh, 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 you sure you got that right? Sí, Peace to everyone. And, uh, uh, I love my, uh, my wife and my child, but I am ready to hit the road and find randoms. Oh, no. Yeah, that can't be Lima. Well, my Spanish is what it yeah. should be. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so a full slate of uh, Major League Baseball games today, including, of course, uh, game two of of Everton, White Sox, and the Astros. Braves and the Brewers open up this afternoon. Milwaukee at 4.30 Eastern. Uh, Red Sox, Tampa Bay, game two tonight. And the Dodgers and the Giants. Both those teams, 107 wins. We'll see some... Something's got to give. <laughs> and these two kings uh, don't like each other. <laughs> Just, they, they don't. And, it's the uh, pot boiler out here. <laughs> uh, so we'll see where that goes. Uh, NFL action last night. Matthew Stafford. Uh, Joe Stafford's great-great-grandson. 
Joe uh, Stafford? Maybe oh, Jim. What was Joe Stafford? Wasn't she a big, uh, was she Jim a big band? Jim Stafford, Joe Stafford. What was Carson McCullers? That's a. I, that, I, did, I, wanna, that, I did that joke for you. Every time I don't know I, that I know. Who every that time is. I hear Carson McCullers, I think Marshall McLuhan. So I don't know if it's just because of their last name or. or is that, what. Isn't that the heart is the lon- the heart is a lonely hunter? Is oh, that okay? Yes. Okay, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blind, you know what? The, if the if just guy. one person enjoyed yes. that, you're doing better yeah. than Paulie Shore. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker. Hello. She's here at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk in for Christy Lee, who's on assignment. With a head injury. Yep, she just hit herself in the forehead with the headphones. We've all done it. Yeah, there, yeah. There's Pat Godwin, the Oxford Gold Group Performance Room. Hey. There's uh, Josh Arnold, the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Hi. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Willie Griswold. Hey, man. There's Tom Griswold. And we welcome a, uh, a gas comedian, Dave Dugan, is here. Dave. Dave. You have to speak. Oh. How are you doing? <laughs> Waving doesn't really cut it, Dave. Oh, oh there we go. It's good to see you. Hey, good to see you guys. Uh, finally, I, I haven't really been alone by myself in a room this long since, well, back since when I was wa- waterboarded, I believe. Oh. Uh, we, we should explain. We have we have, uh, we have have Dave in the isolation chamber because we're not yeah. allowed to have guests in the building. So well, I, when they come the in, rumor of my bout with us. leprosy is false, Tom. So. <laughs> oh, I see. I, uh, I feel like I'm overdressed for this room, though. Uh, oh, do you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I can't really see what he's got on. Um, uh, uh, so you're doing uh, live shows again. You're back. I, well, I am. Uh, finally uh, doing live shows again. Uh, you know, they like to label me, Tom, as a corporate comedian, and, and that's the last market after a pandemic that comes back to, to do their shows. So <laughs> oh, I see. I've been doing just about... Uh, and it, well, I do have a, I do have a, I brought my schedule. I actually have a few corporate things finally coming up again. People, you know, like to book me for those company Christmas yeah. parties, but I'm down in uh, Florida. The next corporate deal I got is at a the, for the Scientific Equipment and Furniture Association. So, if you want to <laughs> drop by and see how I'm doing, uh, that'll be down in Florida. Okay, Sifa. Uh, <laughs> but I did a lot of outdoor festivals this summer. Oh yeah, did you now? Uh, quite a few, and uh, and that's good. You know, it's nice to be outdoors and. Uh, at the same time, it was uh, it was a pretty hot summer, and there was uh, one afternoon show where uh, there was a civic theater right behind me. Uh, looked like a real nice civic theater. They had me on this makeshift stage, and uh, and they uh, I said, you know, you got a theater here. It's pretty hot. You know, it's over 90 degrees. And they said, uh, well, we think the outdoors is is good enough for you. And oh. So uh, uh, and I'm like, oh, this is good because I'm always funnier when it's a uh, Heat index of 98, and there's a more of a risk for getting getting a tick bite. So uh, <laughs> I did a hog roast, my first hog roast actually. Did you know? How about that? And I performed at a hog roast in the <laughs> way out in the country. I'm not knocking it; it was a very nice setup. There are great people, but uh, it's the first time a, a fight broke out at at a show that I've done after all over all these years. Really? Mm. After about seven minutes, there was a couple of local girls gotten a tiff about. Yeah, it was a cat fight, oh. and. Uh, and then after uh, after they settled down, you know, I had to kind of regroup and make a few cracks about it. And I thought, this would be going okay now. And then a dog, one of the 18 loose dogs running on their property, uh, <laughs> fell into a uh, a pond that was full of algae. So it came out, it was covered in green. Mm, so sure. that, got, that got their focus for a little while. Yeah. And then about three minutes later, a car alarm went off. And I <laughs> said, what, what's next? Somebody going to let a hog loose? <laughs> um, you ever ridden a hog, Tom? No. <laughs> All right, well, there's no better way to get hoof and mouth than uh, to take a couple laps holding on to one of those things. <laughs> I see. Sure. Uh, Dave Dugan is our guest, and you've got a, a special dry bar comedy show on YouTube. Is that correct? You can get it on dry bar, but I would say YouTube's easier to find it because a dry bar, now they got it all classified, so you'd have to actually search under, I think they've got me under deadpan or observational or oh, something. Oh, okay. But you go to YouTube. Too, way too complicated. I, and yeah, with just your big it. audience, I, I can't wait. I hope they all go on there. If they like it or something, you know, or share it, then uh, the algorithms go out the roof. Yeah, sure. I think they're called I the algorithms. <laughs> the algor- yeah. Oh, it was algorithm. It was by funk- Funkadelic, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Donald Bird and the algorithm. It's, it's called Dave Dugan Human Human Cannonball. Yeah. Are you a big Halloween guy? I've always kind of wondered. Algorithms actually was the last... Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's the only dance I couldn't do in my in my Zumba classes. Oh yeah, the, uh, what'd you say about Halloween? Are you a Halloween oh, guy? Oh yeah, it's that month, isn't it? And... Well, we um, <laughs> we already have gone through three batches of Halloween candy. We have a 
Our family, we have a sweet tooth problem, I guess. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, so it's probably going to be another one of those Halloweens where, where, you know, we run out pretty quick and then the, you have to improvise because the kids don't stop ringing the doorbell and, uh, uh, you know, improvise out of the refrigerator. You ever do that? Duh. Oh, what would the... What would the little Power Ranger say to a scoop of egg salad? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I found this out, though. This is that uh, fall time of the year. Uh, hay rides and smoking don't mix. Oh. Uh, <laughs> there's a little bit of a story. One year we took our kids to one of those uh, liver, living history museums. I think that's what they are. Uh, theme was uh, colonial times. Mm. And uh, we took a wagon ride. It was Halloween time, and I didn't know we were going to see a headless horseman. And I don't smoke, but I lit one up then, and uh, <laughs> Is that right? drop and roll saved my life. You know, so, everything's so quaint there at the little colonial village, though. The, they gave me real good Colonial Times health care and oh. uh, uh, let me churn butter while they dressed my burns. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Godwin has the number one comedy album in America. It's called Way Back When. Congratulations. Fixed. Fixes in. Rigged. Something, Rigged. Something Can we happened. have a party? Can we celebrate the number one? Like, maybe a fun lunch or something? I think Pat would rather have just us collect the money and give it to him. Okay. We could do that, too. <laughs> All right. No, I, I oh, would be boy, nice. We'll you pass the hat at the break. Hey, Talk you, for you me. know what? You might not be the... Oh, an, you're the only antisocial one here, okay? Calm down. Got a busy when weekend. we say... You know when we say, hey, let's get, get together... We don't think you're coming, and we're not including you. You realize <laughs> I, that's why. Like, I, whatever, I know it is. Whenever that's it is, why I we can't do make it. it. I know. I can know. your credit card make it? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question. Hey, Josh, <laughs> it totally can. Okay, you got to get that power of attorney squared away. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's exciting, Pat. Congratulations. Very really. good, Jess. Yes. Speaking of records, I got this uh, this nice note from uh, Lee Schaefer. Hey, Lee. Uh, I came across this record the can other I ask day. A, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Why are you doing last names? Are we doing that now? Oh, sorry. I got this from Lee. <laughs> Just say Lee. Lee, yes. Yeah, oh, no, that's too obvious. Everybody for L. Schaefer. Schaefer. Um, forget he said Schaefer. <laughs> yeah, forget the Schaefer. <sighs> We've got to get this record. Uh, can you see the screen from there? I can. Can you read what it says? 60 great all-time uh, songs for your listening and dancing pleasure. And who's the artist? Dick Hyman. Dick Hyman. Is that right? Yes. Dick, he Dick. was a, uh, you know... Uh, Chick McGee's broadcasting career is uh, long and varied. Actually, uh, this month in, oh my Lord, in a week, five days, I will celebrate my 45th year of being a broadcaster on the radio. Wow. wow. Congratulations. So you're saying, you're saying you play little Dick Hyman? I played Dick Hyman. I ran a big <laughs> band show. In Buster, Piqua, they called him. Shut up. Piqua, Ohio. <laughs> In Piqua with Paul Bundy and the Big Band Show. Wow. Bless his heart. I'm sure he's passed away now. If he hasn't, he's 180. And, uh... Is this Dick Hyman? Yeah, yeah. that's him. This is called A Zillion Strings, literally. Oh. Oh. Tell oh. me that doesn't well, rock. Caravan. How about this? Oh, Going Caravan was a big song. He yeah. said some Caravan. moody. I'm waiting for Capuchine to walk in and sort of yeah. dance on me. I want to smoke. Is, is, like, is, 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 there, is there a cat walking around? Bob, Bob and Bing are on the camel, and they're walking. Yeah. Uh, they're yeah, riding yeah, across right. the desert. Here comes Dorothy Lamar in some yeah, right. in the veil. Yeah. Okay, Dick's got it going here. Oh, geez, that hurts. <laughs> what is this called? Piercing to the point of deafness? <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Or, or what did they go with? Ugh. Wow. Geez. Okay, that's that's a little that, rough, Dick. That is awful. That's, that's a little dick. rough, Dick. <laughs> that's what a she said. A little rough, Dick. Pat, you hear what your buddy said? Yeah, I heard what said. Dick. I'm gonna talk to him after the show. A little rough, Dick. <laughs> okay, this should be this should be a nice quiet one. This is entitled uh, uh, "Kiss Me in the Rain" by Dick Hunt. <laughs> yeah, she's got a great voice. So I, think <laughs> I think they're all in instrumentals. Oh. So. <laughs> Isn't this sucky? <laughs> Boy. This me in the rain. I mean, this is really good for, like, on-hold music. This yeah. is, like, first porno ever music. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Just some grainy, gross couple. <laughs> Milkman. Bushes and long boobs. Well, thanks for the letter, Lee. <laughs> Bushes and long boobs. That's my, that's my new album. <laughs> <sighs> Well, uh, Pat, could you play something from the... I tell you what, could you do me a favor? Yeah, well, what? I, I know it's the number one song, because the, these various digital platforms, they tell you which song is the most requested. 
And uh, the number one song from Pat Godwin's new album, Way Back When, is uh, is entitled Nobody Has Pubes Anymore. Do you have your buddy in there? Uh, my buddy could come in here, Dean, if you know what Thomas is. No, 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 you're, uh, just your friend Leon. Oh, oh, oh. Well, uh, <laughs> Dean, Dean does the megaphone part. Oh, oh yes, 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 Leon Mudd. I'm sorry, I didn't we, understand what he you said. <laughs> so he has to go to the coffee room Once again, this to is make a, a megaphone. <laughs> for those of you doubting, this is a live radio show. Okay, <laughs> That's the beauty of the show. Yeah. All right. You want to hear a little song? We're here with you. We're, we're, we're trying to All breathe. Right. Number one song. Okay, go ahead. Here we go, here we go. Here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh has left the building. <laughs> Way back when I was 22, where everybody had hair down their own bush. The girls in Playboy <laughs> magazine all had pubic hair. Oh, I like to take a lady to lunch of theirs. A little cop at the munch, but nobody has pubes. <laughs> Oh. I went down to my local gym and all the guys there are have free. Ah, I'm feeling self-conscious because downstairs I'm the dynasty. Ah, she my junk, <laughs> had a heart attack. Looks like a baby carrot playing hacky sack. Ah, <laughs> nobody has pubes anymore. Nobody has pubes. Everybody's who has baby but smooth. Nobody has pubes anymore. <laughs> Pubic hair. Oh, how I love you. Oh, that's amazing. Why did you have to go? <laughs> I think it's she a pet or a dynamite fro like Jimmy Walker. I miss the 70s and a crotch like Joe Walker. <laughs> I had a date with a gorgeous girl. Hell, I was twice her age. I was hoping when we made love, she had hair down there like Betty Page. Ooh. Now everybody's coochie's bare, and I like a little Garfunkel down there. <laughs> Nobody has pubes at them all. Oh, everybody's waxing shaved, and I like a big bush at the top of the cave. <laughs> Nobody has pubes at them all. Ladies, let your garden grow. Oh, lovely. It, uh, hey, I, uh, Rudy I Valley a, special effect there in the middle uh, I got a quick was provided question. by Dean with a, a drumstick crammed through a uh, <laughs> styrofo styrofoam uh, cup. There, I did not receive uh, any sort of call or, or communication to come into the studio and do uh, my Chewbacca sound. Where did you... Uh, we did had you, you do it one day here, and it's on the record. Is that right? Yeah, it's great. Hmm. You'll be receiving your fee from I ASCAP. Would, I, would, <laughs> I would hope so. ASCAP. I, that was my next question. You're on ASCAP, the album. ASCAP, by the way, uh, is, I'm on an, is album. an organization that distributes uh, royalties. It's not a birth control device. Ask him. <laughs> well, I mean, the ass itself is sort of a birth control device. <laughs> <laughs> the joke is a bell. There at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. And, and then I told the guy, Shut I up. said, oh. There's Ace Cosby <laughs> manning the track phone hotline. There's Willie Griswold and there's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. we got a lot to get to today. Joe Stafford and Frankie Lane coming up. <laughs> oh, uh, how about that? Joe Stafford. Okay, we're gonna uh, find out. And then we've got Jim Stafford also. Right. So uh, all is all is not lost. I'm, I'm sure but that some people will know why. Could you, we, could you grab I Hello, Stafford loans. Bob oh. and Tom show. Hey, Pendles. Floyd. Floyd. I've enjoyed your Jim Stafford program. Yeah, oh, I, good. Liked, I like Jim Stafford and spiders and You'll snakes. be hard pressed to find one better than spiders and snakes. Yeah. Yes, me. Yeah, I agree. Sure. Yeah. But I had to call you today on the count. I heard a doozy between pumps at Mr. Fuel. Oh. Oh, can you share it? Well, I don't know if I can tell it as well as Travis does. <laughs> he kicks a sound every time he tries to tell it. But So once upon a time, these three lot lizards were kind of <laughs> free capping their evening, you know. <laughs> All the truckers come from parts unknown, have different backgrounds, of course. It's really only the road that brings us together. But <laughs> <laughs> the first lot lizard, we'll call her Tina for short, she said... <laughs> I'm pretty sure my old boy last night was a football kicker in high school. No. On the count when he finished, he stood up and said, It's good. <laughs> All right. All right. Next guy, I'll speak of the devil. <laughs> we'll call her Patty. Oh, Patty put her dip cup down. She said, <laughs> Well, maybe they were teammates on the count. I think mine was a football player, too. Oh. <laughs> because when he finished, he stood up and said, Touchdown! Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. makes sense. 
Well, this third whore just kept rubbing her head in disbelief. <laughs> she said, I didn't have any football players, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure the old boy I was with used to be a farmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy said, how could you tell? He was a farmer. She said, well, at first he complained about it being too wet. <laughs> then he complained about it being too dry. <laughs> And then he said he wasn't leaving until he got his free hat. <laughs> I reckon it was kind of like he was test driving the John Deere. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, right, of course. Raining, I guess, in the beginning. Right. Right. Here's one I like to do. Oh. Next time you take a healthy BM, stand up above the commode, kindly point at it like you're scolding and say, is that you that's been making all this racket? <laughs> okay. Right. okay. Boy, you know, it's sure good to see Jimmy J.J. Walker back on TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it really We can all benefit from a first mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> well, JJ, uh, looking a little rough. Well, he, he's well, he, he looks about what I would think he yeah, would look like. He's 108 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he was 20 back in the 70s, okay. right? Okay. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.